South Korea's Defense Ministry has rejected the North's claim to have detonated a hydrogen bomb. For more, we connect live with our Defense Ministry correspondent Kim Hyun Bin, standing by at the Ministry of National Defense. Hyun Bin, what can you tell us now? Well, South Korea's Defense Ministry says it has upped its defense readiness and is keeping a close eye on any unusual movements on north of the border. It's also working in close coordination with the United States. Let's hear what the Defense Ministry has to say. North Korea's nuclear test destabilizes peace and security, not only on the Korean Peninsula, but also in the international community. It also disregards the international community's attempts to denuclearize the peninsula. Now, unlike with his previous nuclear test, Pyongyang did not notify the U.S. or China beforehand. South Korea's defense ministry says that North Korea is always capable of conducting a nuclear test at any given time. So it's hard to predict exactly when Pyongyang will conduct another nuclear test. The ministry says that it is unlikely that North Korea conducted a full-scale hydrogen bomb test, as a H-bomb is 100 to 1,000 times stronger than an atomic bomb, and added that it is hard to believe Pyongyang has obtained the technology. The recent blast was weaker than that, recording a 4.8 on the seismic graph, which is 0.1 lower than the nuclear test it conducted in 2013. He did say, however, there could be some hydrogen particles, but that, is, that it isn't the full H-bomb. North Korea has conducted four nuclear tests so far in 2006, 2009, and 2013. Um, I will have more updates in the later newscasts.